When we're looking for a greatest common factor, um, a lot of times we're doing that because we want to factor out the greatest common factor. Okay, So let's take a closer look at how you do that. If you're given um, the polynomial, let's start with um, um, the first one I go through, I'll explain in detail how we find the common factor and then factor it out. 5x to the third can be written as 5 times x times x times x, okay? Plus 20x squared. 20 can be written as 2 times 2 times 5. I better put my multiplication dots in there. So 2 times 2 times 5 is the factored form of 20, all right? x squared can be written as x times x. And then plus 10x, I can write as 2 times 5x. All right. So all I've done on this line is write the factored form of everything up here. Now we're looking for common factors. Okay, I've got a 5 and an x here, a 5 and an x here, a 5 and an x here. If I try to get anything more, I won't be able to get it out of each of these three terms. So that's to say I can get 5x out of here, I can get 5x out of there, I can get 5x out of there. So if I say I'm going to factor it out, that really means I'm going to divide out 5x, divide out 5x, and divide out 5x. But in mathematics, you're not just, you're never allowed to just walk up and divide and change the value of something. So I want to divide this out, but preserve the value. So the way I accomplish that is this 5x is going to get divided out of each term. The opposite of division is multiplication. So as long as I indicate that I'm willing to multiply each term by 5x and outside parentheses that says you could send it back in and that way you would multiply each term by 5x. If I'm willing to multiply each term by 5x I can divide each term by 5x. So they cancel and you're left with x squared. All right. For your next term the 5x's cancel and you're left with 4x. And for our last term, the 5x's cancel and you're left with just a plus 2. So we don't usually go through this much trouble, but what we have written on this line is the same value as what we started with. But down here we've cleaned it up some because we removed a 5x from each term. If you had 27 x to the sixth plus 18x squared, uh, let's say plus 3x. You simply look at each of the terms, okay, and for the coefficients, I can get a 3 out of here, I can get a 3 out of here, and I can get a 3 out of here. Obviously, I could get um, a 9 out of here and a 9 out of here, but I wouldn't be able to get 9 out of 3. Okay, So we end up uh, 3 is our GCF for the coefficients, and with the x's, with the variables, I can get x to the first out of here. So that's all I'm going to be able to do is remove x to the first and remove x to the first. Obviously I could get x to the sixth out of here, but I wouldn't be able to get it out of here or here. Okay, So our GCF the most I can divide out of each term is 3x. So I put that out in front of parentheses. Remember, if I'm going to divide each term by 3x, which I'm about to do, I have to indicate that I'm willing to multiply each term.
by 3x. That's how you preserve the value of the original polynomial. Okay? So 27x to the 6 divided by 3x leaves us with 9x to the 5th. Just subtract 1 from your exponent. 18x squared divided by 3x is plus 6x. Just subtract 1 from your exponent. And 3x divided by 3x is 1. Okay, sometimes that throws people. They think this is all gone. But I divided by 3x. And you can always check this if you send your 3x back in to each term to multiply, you will get your original polynomial. And let's see, we're going to look at one more that's uh, a little more complicated. All right, for the coefficients, for the numbers in front of the variables, um, 8, 12, and 20, uh, the most I can get out of each term is going to be a 4. Okay. So if I'm going to divide out a 4, I have to indicate that I'm willing to multiply by 4. And as far as the variables, x to the second is the most x's that I can get out of each term. So I'll be dividing by x to the second, so I have to be willing to multiply by x to the second. And as far as our y variables, y to the first, remember there's a one up there. Y to the first is the most I can get out of each term. Okay. And again, if I'm going to divide by 4x squared y, this is how I indicate I'm willing to multiply by 4x squared y to get right back to where we started. All right, we're preserving the value of the original polynomial this way. So I'm going to divide by 4x squared y. I'm going to divide by 4x squared y and divide by 4x squared y. Normally, I don't write this in here. It's too cumbersome, but I'm just really trying to demonstrate what we're doing when we factor out the greatest common factor. Okay, So the 8 divided by 4 leaves us with a 2. x to the 5th divided by x squared leaves us with x to the 3rd. You simply subtract exponents. y to the 3rd divided by y leaves us with y squared. We move over to our next term. 12 divided by 4 is 3. x squared divided by x squared is 1. y, y squared divided by y would simply leave y to the first up top. So that middle term cleans up to 3y. And then our last term, 4 goes into 20 five times x squared goes into x squared once, y goes into y once, so your last term just becomes a 5. Okay, And again, whenever you do this, you should check it. If I send 4x squared y back in to each term, I will get my original polynomial. I've preserved the value, um, but I've written it in a simpler form.